boys and girls, it's me, Mrs. Lockman from Boston School Forest, and climbing is so exciting. I get kind of jealous of those red squirrels and woodpeckers and even bugs that can just climb right up a wall or right up a tree. If we want to go climbing, we have to prepare with safety equipment like this. Now I look more ready to climb. I have my harness on and fastened. I have my helmet on to protect my head. I have a safe rope and I have the hardware that'll help me to climb in a ropes course. And I wonder if your Fayette teachers haven't already helped you to put on a harness and uh, tie a rope and to use hardware to climb at your school. Well, our friendly animals here at Boston School Forest, they don't need ropes, helmets, harnesses, or hardware. They have their own adaptations that help them climb. Let's take a look at some of them now. With all the warm weather we've been having, the houseflies have become active again. Houseflies are expert climbers because they have a hairy pad on the bottom of their feet. It contains hundreds of bristles and hairs and hooks, and it works just about like Velcro. This is a microscope view of Velcro, and the fly's feet are just about like that. They also have a sticky substance that helps them to climb on the window. The Madagascar hissing cockroaches that live here at Elkie Lodge are excellent climbers. They like to climb up on logs and around branches and even in holes in the ground. It's not as easy for them to climb on glass and smooth surfaces because they're heavier than the fly and they don't have as many hairs. They have a smooth pad system which includes five pads, a tarsus, and little claws at the end. They actually have a small amount of fluid that contains a sticky substance called glucose, and it helps them to grip onto surfaces like my finger. I can even turn them upside down, even give them a little shake, and they cling on tight. Being a good climber is not just for insects here at Boston School Forest. Woodpeckers are a type of bird that are excellent climbers as well. At the forest, we have downy, hairy, red-bellied, and pileated woodpeckers. They can climb and cling onto the side of trees because they have two toes in the front and two toes in the back. It's called zygodactyl, and it literally means paired toes. With the two toes in the front and the two toes in the back, they are able to grip around branches and cling onto the side. They even have very sharp claws that help them to grip onto smoother surfaces. Their tail is pretty stiff, and it works just like a kickstand. Woodpeckers have short, bent legs that helps to keep their body right next to the tree trunk or the branch, which is important when they use their head to drill and hammer against the trees, looking for those tasty bugs under the bark. By far the best climbers at Boston School Forest are the squirrels. We have both gray squirrels and red squirrels at the school forest. They love eating underneath our bird feeders and they're expert climbers. They seem to jump through the tree branches and scale up the trunks like it's nothing at all. What makes them such great climbers? Well, squirrels have special pads on their paws that provide a force that helps them to cling to branches and cling to the grooves within the tree bark. They have very flexible ankles and they can even turn their feet backwards. That helps them to cling as well. They have very sharp claws and because they have short legs, it keeps their center of gravity right next to the tree. Climbing is very important for squirrels to be able to get away from predators that might want to eat them on the ground. They seem to hide right along a trunk and then pop, there I am. They can't crawl up all surfaces though. If it's slippery or greasy, they're not so successful. Please remember that climbing isn't something you should ever do without an adult supervision. Here at the Boston School Forest, when you're older, you'll have a chance to climb in our high ropes course. But it takes me, a certified person, to be able to make sure that all the equipment is working, that the element is safe, and that we have safe practices for climbing and belaying. Well, that's all for this week. See you next time.